Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Lauren, for that excited introduction. And uh, it's a delight to be, you know, welcomed by life itself, which I care very much about, and particularly on this week around the Limicon. So a very warm welcome to all of you uh, for this community call. And I'm delighted also to be supported with Boo by my side here, who is part of my team in Turkey and um, who has been actually at Life Itself in Baja High co-facilitating the residency last year and will be there again this year. We'll be co-facilitating co a group and the residency together. So, and the aim is in this space actually to explore together experientially a little bit about these ways in which we can connect to ourselves and others, um, building resilience, building connection, building even wisdom, maybe. We'll see how far we go. Are you ready? So let's begin with uh, a little orientation, which is um, a typical sort of nervous system practice that we do uh, in our method. And so it's gonna take about two or three minutes. And the invitation is as we are here now, letting our eyes open or letting our eyes closed, noticing where it feels most pleasant to bring our attention to. So maybe, you know, we enjoy watching the screen and people's backgrounds, or maybe there's a nice view around, or maybe actually it feels better to just shut the eyes and be here and not too much. And so I really invite us to pause and to let ourselves be guided with wherever our heart, our body, is leading us to feel a bit more pleasure, a bit more ease, a bit more softness here and now. And really allowing this here and now experience to guide our body, to guide our mind without having to do much. just settling where we are and maybe there's an emotion that's present or a state of maybe agitation or tiredness or resistance and that's also welcome and maybe there's a state as we move through this orientation practice, a state of ease or softness or calm that settles in, maybe even just a little bit in one part of the body or the mind. And if that's the case, noticing if we can savor that little bit, that little extra ease or gentleness, or joy, pleasure. Like a delicious cookie, we're just really taking our time to chew and eat. And as we finish this little orientation, I invite us to connect into this space, into this collective space. And notice how it is to bring our bodies, our hearts, our mind back into connection or into this collective. Maybe there's a particular quality here and now that's being felt in this space between us, perhaps. Even. Really just allowing whatever's there, whatever comes up, maybe some anxiety, maybe some joy, maybe some curiosity. It's 
all welcome. Whatever is here. And in a couple of moments, uh, we're going to be going into pairs and breakout rooms and do a little check-in for just two or three minutes each. But just before we do that, I'd just like to get to a little bit of a taste here and now from you. If you want to open up your mic and just say one word or a short sentence. What's present right now? If you were just to say a word or a short sentence to describe what's here. Enjoying my body. Sorry, Trip. Enjoying my body. Enjoying your body. Yeah, nice. Isabella, are you going to say? Yeah, I was just saying grateful for the moment to land. Grateful for the moment to land. Yeah. And there's kind of something, yeah, coming down. Mm -hmm. Does that resonate a little bit, Anne, for you? Yes, feeling more relaxed than when I more. opened the Zoom. Okay, good. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, just very calm. Mm -hmm. Very calm, cool. Danielle. I'm also pleasantly surprised. I haven't seen Christopher in a while. Christopher. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Yuri. Yeah. Um, gradual muscle relaxation for me. Mm. Yeah, I still have uh, very cold feet, but I'm full of curiosity. <laughs> thank you, Petra, and those cold feet are also welcome. And in a way, thank you, especially because up until now, it's been quite pleasant and enjoyable sharings, and you're kind of opening up the um, spectrum of what's experienceable in this space in terms of maybe a not so pleasant sensation. And so, yeah, that's really significant. Yeah. Segway. Eva, we can't hear you, I think. No. Okay, now we can hear you, yeah. Now you can hear me? Yes, thank you. I said thank you, Boaz, you segued really beautifully because I'm here feeling negative stuff and I was like, hmm. Mm. So I want to throw that into into the mix, but um, yeah, yeah, here feeling a curious despair. Um, oh. Whoever's in my breakout room can find out more. <laughs> yeah, thank you for sharing that, Eva. That's also quite a step in our direction to to share more of that, that more challengingly challengingly balanced experience. I can I can share. Mm -hmm. I have a sense of like anxiety as of the label I'm going to use, but it's transitioned from earlier this morning where I felt quite heavy to now kind of feeling like almost excited and mm. mixed in with maybe needing to like eat some foods that are grounding. And so this kind of weird complex, what are you sort of sensation? Yeah, nice. Cool, Lauren. And I really enjoy also you know, your very sort of, somatic mo you know mobility and really describing with your hands it's quite energetic and feel free to get a snack if that's what you feel you know is um, most important for you you're totally welcome yeah well thank you for your generosity everyone that's it's it's a great start and i look forward for us to continue co-creating the space and to hear your participation and eventually maybe even for you to co-lead uh, this session with boo and i as we move forward um, so we'll go into breakout rooms now, and uh, the invitation will be just to share for about two and a half minutes, one person shares, and the invitation is for the other person to remain mostly silent. So you, of course, you know, you can just share a word back or some facial expressions or make sure, you know, you can say you're present, but really just to have a space to share what's present for you and allow that quality of presence from your listener uh, to hold the space. Yeah. And you, you can move into a little bit of a discussion if that feels too uncomfortable. The point is not to make it uncomfortable. Um, and then we switch. 
to two and a half minutes, and then we switch two and a half minutes, and then there'll be um, just a two minute debrief where it's more free flow. Okay, and we'll share the indications in the in the broadcast. Okay, so we'll have two and a half minutes, and then two and a half minutes, and then two and a half minutes of uh, free flow, and then we'll move to the next bit of our exploration together. So I think Boo's prepared the room. Uh, let me just check. Uh, one room has three people, other rooms can, yeah, okay. That's good, enjoy. And if you, do you have any questions, by the way, before we go, before I open? Thank you, Yuli. That was very sweet and uh, clarifying for the, the writing for everyone in the chat. And we'll write it, to the, we, we'll, give, we'll keep the time ourselves. So you don't need to keep the time. Okay, we'll, we'll share with you, we'll share a message when it's time to turn over. So have fun, everybody, and see you in a, in a few minutes. Welcome back, everybody. We missed you for that bit, but it looks like, you know, from some of your smiles, maybe that was a worthwhile exercise. And so we'll continue our little exploration of how this was for you. And it'd be good to hear maybe again, just a short word or a sentence. What's present here and now as we sit together and noticing perhaps what's right now here is perhaps a bit different than how we were in our cozy one-to-one -one rooms, right? There's also maybe a shift from how this space feels. And so what is present? If you were to say a word or a for sentence. Me, for me, duality is present, kind of how he's just called out. Um, I was in the room with Martin and we were just experiencing separate perspectives. Um, mm -hmm. but like the same but opposite mm. so we're at the different ends of the spectrum and from talking about the middle of the spectrum of how everybody else is here and is that which one is the right right or good or whatever so yeah I'm really aware of that mm. nice and it sounds like that was kind of exciting or interesting that there was this different way of relating yeah mm -hmm. Martin, would you like to add to that? Or? Um, yeah, there was um, a sense of connection for me. I kind of felt like we fell in together and could immediately... Oh, I mean, we, we, we were on the same wavelength, um, um, personally, I think. Um, but we didn't even get um, to really explore like the um, differences in our perspective. We just sort of sure. acknowledged them. So that's it. Sure. And let me just ask you this then, and maybe others can also resonate with this question in your own dyads. How was it to just allow, as you said, you just sort of witnessed that difference without going into it? How was it to just be witnessed in your experience without having done anything to it or the other person responding to it? Isabella, yeah. Yeah, I mean, for me, that there, I've been thinking more and more about these spaces where we practice some of this. So some of us might have more of these experiences, and some of us less so. And, um, I mean, I love them, and they're like these little oases, oases, plural oases. Um, <laughs> Yeah, uh, in my day of like Zoom meeting after Zoom meeting kind of thing. So that that's lovely. And I often wonder the, like for me, it feels like a lovely way of resting and in, in flow. But I also think that it must be so different for those who don't practice this, especially in an online context. Um, so I'm just, to me, I'm coming with curiosity around yeah. that question when you ask this question, yeah. Sure, yeah. So there's a softness and a relaxation and like a sense of enjoyment for you and also kind of a concern or maybe question on how it is for those who don't get that. Yeah, I hear me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I can I can share. For me, yeah, it was, I had a lot of heaviness and then I didn't go into it. It was kind of like, kind of staying on the outside of it and that I actually felt felt quite good and uh, I think in the past I would sort of like 
rush into it headlong. And I stayed stayed more uh, almost centered. Yeah. Right. Cool, Vlad. So what I hear is that actually there was a choice on your side not necessarily to go so deep into it, and that was helpful. Yeah. Yeah, I sort of listened to like, does it feel right to do that? Do I need to do that? And it, it, I noticed I didn't need to. Mm. So cool that there's this already this awareness of yourself and also a kind of agency to see how you want to hold your own experience in the process and then feeling good or feeling a bit better. I'm not sure you went as far as saying that you felt good. Yeah, and it actually, it led to... Uh some connection actually i think in the past i would think that like oh and i have to i have to share the deepest thing right now to 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 be in connection but it maybe not yeah great well um maybe we do one last uh, little exploration collectively before we go into larger groups because um, in your systemics, in this sort of multi-level resiliency building process, we just sort of follow evolutionary processes where cells mix with multi, it becomes multicellular cells, which then shift into larger organisms. And so we're gonna be pairing, pairing up the pairs. Like we'll be socially mating online Zoom. It's like a new process. And um, I'm just curious right now, you know, several of you have shared in this first wave before we went into the dias, and several of you have shared again right now in this larger group. What's the quality of the space in this moment from having heard everyone? How do you relate to, to this collective which we are experiencing here and now right together? Um... I have to say I resonate a lot with uh, what Isabella just said, and thank you for the concern. Um, because yeah, I for me it's pretty new, and I do not feel always one hundred percent comfortable in Zoom or online. I have a bit of harder time to connect to people than just be um, compared to being in person with someone mm -hmm. in the same room. So, but. Um, Yuli made it nice for me. He started, so <laughs> I was fine in this breakout room. And um, I take this, I embrace this now as a practice for our um, practices ahead with the upcoming residency in uh, summer because we start as a group in the resiliency circle online. So I'm a bit anxious about that. But mm. thank you for, for giving a little taster here and for me to, to find out a little uh, how I, I will do in that or how it actually feels. So yeah. Um, yeah, thank you uh, to everybody just to create this room together. Nice. Thank you, Petra, also for your courage. You know, I think it's quite a step forward that you just made to come towards us and open up what's present. And, you know, I can see maybe there was some anxiety even still present and wondering, like, how is it landing? And I think it's quite, quite, uh, yeah, quite a step forward. I really appreciate you joining and playing with, with all of us. <laughs> maybe we have just one last sharing in terms of the felt sense of this social space we're experiencing right now. What's that like? I think I'm a lot more open and curious than when I walked in. Mm -hmm. um, so like more immediately, I'm kind of noticing, oh, wow, Boaz, I really like your facilitation style. I notice kind of my eyes going through from person to person on on the on the display, and just kind of finding myself more curious, like who is this person? If they speak, what are they gonna say? And I notice myself kind of like waiting 
both in more relaxation and more like genuine excitement than how I initially walked into this call. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think that time to slow down, but then also have kind of like more questions come up than answers with Petra in our chat. Mm -hmm. um, it's really feeding in and then hearing the, the like slight differences and richness from the different shares here. I'm like, okay, lots of different people. Nice. Yeah. So more relaxation and also more interest. And I, I love how you, you know, you're leaning in. It's like, there's really the, the and an energetic and also kind of in the body uh, looking closer. And maybe we can just take in like, how is it to hear Yuli right now? You know, he, he just shared and maybe that there was a particular quality or impact on our body, on our felt sense. Um, and it's not to share about it now. And I will go again into this larger uh, subgroups uh, for 10 minutes, Boo, we'll just do 10 minutes. Um, wow. And then we'll come back for a last wave and um, maybe share if there's any questions or things to discuss more uh, outside of processing. So we'll go into groups now for 10 minutes and uh, have fun. See you in a bit. And the aim, just maybe to clarify, the aim is once again, um, we're, we're shifting now from this sort of larger organism into these two subgroups and noticing how, we're, how that's affecting us and just continuing with this sort of here and now exploration. Uh, maybe there's still something that's more around our day and what's, you know, how we, how, how we came in, or maybe there's something about a sharing that resonated in a certain way. Um, so being present with what's here and now and, um, yeah, sharing as authentically and pre in the presence as we can. And Boo will facilitate the other group and I will facilitate one. So have fun, everybody. See you in a bit. So Lauren, you can uh, join the room one. And Boaz, you can choose whichever room you'd like to go. Okay. Okay, Boo, how did it go? It was very interesting and very honest as well. Like I was really impressed by the honesty and transparency that people have shared their internal ongoing, whatever is going on internally. So thank you all for joining. Oh, yeah. How was it for you, Bob? Yeah, similar. I also felt uh, a sense of uh, strong authenticity and directness in terms of what everyone was going through. We didn't get to hear from Anne. Uh, okay. And so you're welcome to share. And I'm also just happy to, to continue exploring the wider group process if that's not the time for you. I think what was most or is most alive for me is becoming aware of like a core need that isn't sufficiently met in my life right now, like the longing for a deeper connection. And I appreciate it in this call, but also very well aware that it's done within nine minutes and that I'm longing for some more repeated exploration of that experience of that connection mm -hmm. thank you yeah good and i just saw a larger breath there i'm imagining maybe there's something like some discharge or some release in you being able just to share that right now in the space is that right or what's going on with you yeah that's right I also do feel a bit nervous. Yeah, that. of course. That's the other side. That's the other side. <laughs> and so I'm really, you know, let's go with that. And like, what, what would, what would you like to hear from the group after having shared this? That could, um, you know, that 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 would be supportive for you. I don't know. Um, I don't have a specific request. Honestly. Okay. I'm curious to know how how they felt or as you shared it. 
or what how they're doing right now, as uh, they just heard you. Would anybody be up for sharing your resonance? I, I just had um. Oh, go ahead. I just wanted to say hi, Anne. I I can't give you the thing now, but I hear that you want it, and I I wish it for you. Thank you. I just want to see uh, to share how happy I am to see you again, Anne. Since we had a residency together uh, in the hub uh, now some time ago, and we lost contact since then um, a little, and. I was just like, my heart made a little jump when I saw that you are on this call too. And so, yeah, I, I'm just so happy to see you. And um, yeah, um, I hope I hope you feel comfortable now. I also feel a bit uncomfortable here in the online space, but uh, yeah, just, I wanted to share that with you. Uh, it really makes me happy to see you. <laughs> Thank you. Let's reconnect again. Thanks. Um, yeah, I just, uh, I felt so much resonance with what you, you shared, and I feel like you put into words what I'm feeling as well. Just like, yeah, a lot of longing, craving, needing, yeah. So thank you for sharing that. Thank you, Vlad. Thank you, Petra. Thank you, Trip. And how are you doing now, and having heard from them? Feeling more at ease, actually. Yeah. Yeah. And you also do this gesture. It's like, it feels like maybe something's coming down or there's like a sense of heaviness or... I'm appreciating like the resonance, like the recognition, like, mm -hmm. oh, I'm not alone in my experience. Yeah. Somehow. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Nice. Yeah. So thank you for that courage as well and to share that really authentically in, in everyone. Um, as a wrap up, maybe we'll end the processing time here. Um, so processing means uh, in, our, in, in our method, really the sense of paying attention to the phenomenological quality of our experience, as in the emotional, the somatic, the relational, the energetic, what's in between us, and um, just staying with the sense of the observer, which I think you've all practiced to some extent, which is why I think we could go, we could, uh, we could go quite far uh, today. So I'm really thankful for that and congratulate all of us in this pre-work and Lauren as well for this powerful community building that you've done already in life itself. And I think one of the things um, perhaps that we can take away just as like a, a learning nugget um, based on the theme of the, um, the session tonight around how to build a multi-level resilience is that in a way we all have our own parts. We all have our own responsibility and our own work to care for and to connect to our experience and our emotions. And at the same time, as humans, there's there's like clear science today that shows we, we are relational. And in fact, most of our regulatory needs come through relationships. And so there are ways in which we can connect with others that can reduce these sort of fight, flight, freeze, hypervigilance type of scanning responses, which we all have by being in the company and building bonds of trust and love and authenticity, which I think we did to some extent here. And if this was a larger group, you know, we would get into fights and disagreements and that would be important as well. So it's not just the lovey-dovey sort of rainbow stuff, you know, that a lot of it happened tonight and it was really important. That's part of the formation of our community. Um, and and, and, we, and we, we name that co-regulation which means there's an emotional process and the relational exploration helps to upregulate positive states and downregulate negative states. And so the relationship really becomes in a way the technique 
rather than mindfulness or paying attention to one's breath or the orientation that we did in the beginning. And so in neurosystemics, we pay a lot of attention to self-regulation, to these relational experiences, co-regulation. And then we can go into larger co-regulatory dynamics when we move into community processes. Because right now we're 15, but imagine, you know, you do this in an organization or you do this with 100 people or 1,000. Um, so obviously we're not going to be able to go much deeper today in an hour, um, but uh, yeah, that summarizes a little bit of the learning. And um, if you're interested in taking this a bit further, as um, Petra also said, and Petra is our dear coordinator for the residency um, in June, we are uh, offering, oops, sorry, that's the, that's the wrong one. Uh, we're offering a two-week residency at Life Itself Hub in France. Um, I'll just share with you. Bu, could I ask you maybe put the website in the in the chat, please? Sure. Um, so this is the neurosystemics.com website, and uh, if you scan down here, you can see um, the residency. And there you have all the details. We're not going to go through it now, but um, it's two weeks. And there's two weeks online before and two weeks online after, which is sort of a, an initiation period and an integration period. And um, we already did some sessions, a session last year. And this year we're gonna be doing collecting data. Um, we're gonna be doing a proper study with uh, a colleague of mine. And so you're welcome to join us for that. You can register on the website if you're interested. And a more ne a nearer uh, offering, if you'd like to do build some of these co-regulatory skills, it's a free offering, four weeks, where you get a video every day. Um, it's the self-care course. And um, that is here. I'll just put the, um, the website on the chat here. You can pick it up if you like. Uh, there's the self-care course. That's a free course online. You can check in and, and do about 10 minutes of self-regulation. And, and every day you have a, a different theme. So in, in your systemics, we have four different levels. We have the inner experience, working with one person, working with a group, and then working with community. And each week is each of these layers where you build regulation and resilience internally with one person, with a group, and with the world. So then in four weeks, you're all... Um, perfectly resilient and permanent well-being that's just uh, unbreakable. Okay, so we're ending up here. Uh, Lauren did say we could stay for a few more minutes for those of you who have more time, if you have questions or comments. So um, those are welcome if you like. Yeah, I was just gonna say, we can we can stay for five more minutes if people would like to ask any questions um, to Boaz. Um, so yeah, over over to you guys, and you can type them in as well if you if you can't speak. But I think everyone's comfortable with unmuting themselves and sharing. Yeah, I have to jump off now, but I just want to say thank you, and I was I'm grateful for this space. So, Thanks, Danielle. Thank you, Danielle. Great to have you with us. Okay, so I am just. Well, no, please, I was going to say, I asked a question to Boaz when we were, when uh, everybody was in their, their original rooms, which was um, related to the, the differences that arise between the online and the in-person. I don't know if it's useful, if you want to share anything on, around that, especially as the residency that you're going to be running in June has like the, a combination of, of both of them. So that might be, might be interesting to, to share a little bit on. Yeah, I think that's um, uh, quite an exciting question because there are all these options. I think a lot can happen on Zoom. Most of our group, like Gu, Gu leads several groups on Zoom every week. I, I, I have one or group as well. Hey, Christoph, welcome. Um, and there is something about the in-person when we live together, whereby it's not just about sort of the group experience, but it's also how do you then embody these sort of intensive or high impact experiences that happen in the group in, in your daily life, like when you cook breakfast or when you walk around 
or when you, you know, like those are the times like in our daily lives that really are a bit more challenging because we're it's not like structured and prepared. So we focus in the residency of the transfer between these more structured sessions where there are more support to then be able to see how much we can then really transform our way of relating to ourselves and others during the, the time we live together. Um, so to be honest, to have a residency like that, I mean, I, I've done several residencies of life itself, and, and that is uh, really, in a way, a challenging place because we get to meet ourselves, you know, in really various ways. And maybe Boo or Petra, you know, you could share a little bit about that as well because you've both experienced it. Well, I didn't stay with the group, so Petra maybe could say more on that. But I also just want to add to that, you know, living together piece that we have an in, like, um, interview process before that, like we did last year. So I'm assuming we are going to do this year. Yeah, yeah. So we have an interview one-to-one, -one, uh, you guys and us facilitators just one-to-one -one, and finding out what you need most and what are the challenges that you might come across that you are afraid of. Or, so we actually get to know you if, even before the residency to help you out in the actual event. So I can say, and that piece, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I would like to say what I really, really liked a lot about our uh, residency we did last year. Um, and for you, Boaz, it was the first residency you did hold yourself in a physical <laughs> space. Um, I kind of like the, the format that we had these resiliency circles with uh, a group of six people. We also had a buddy system where everybody was uh, splitting into diets. And we did uh, sometime in the week the, the, the whole group, the meta circle. And this in combination with the just day-to-day -day life, as, as you just said, Boaz, like living together, keep enjoying the food, preparing, doing totally normal stuff, day-to-day -day stuff. This interwoven with this sessions we had and everybody had the intention to be there and, and working on themselves, but also as being in a group in combination with like, it felt a bit like you can test drive it right away just by being in a temporary community, what you maybe had as a finding in the circle or in the body uh, system or wherever. And I kind of like that balance and, and the feeling of intention that was there from everyone. And I mean, yeah. we had a great group, I have to say. I enjoyed it a lot, what we experienced last time. And I took a lot away from, from that. So, yeah, sorry, it's a bit too much PR maybe now, but guys, please, you have to come. It's great. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm much better there. I'm not so dorky like now. It's my forte. <laughs> if I can meet you, it's all going to be super cool. <laughs> You're doing fantastic, Petra. Thank you so much. You, you, you just sold our residency. You couldn't have done better. Yeah, thank you. Mm. Amazing. Thank you. Does anyone have any other questions that they just want to ask? Uh, I'll just keep so, for a couple more minutes. Uh, Trip, I think you put a hand up. Have you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I'm going to the light. Um, but as I, um, context is helpful for me, and I wanted to ask if you have a sense of like what you'd name as your like biggest lineages or like other like kind of like schools of thought that you're pulling into and bringing together in your work. Yeah, absolutely. I'm happy to share more about that. Um, so in terms of clinical work, so there's there's clinical work, there's contemplative practice, and then there's systemic um, sort of activism or engagement. And um, as a clinician, as a clinical psychologist, I come more from somatic psychology, trauma healing, uh, and working with a very transdiagnostic framework where we try to see some of the key conditions that we can help to shift in, in people that would then attend to some of these core mechanisms affecting both depression, anxiety, but also PTSD, and addictions. Um, I've had all of them. So, you know, that, that was also why I needed to get to something that was a bit deeper. And the nervous system really is getting more and more evidence-based in terms of a clinical intervention to have that transdiagnostic impact. Uh, contemplative practice-wise, 
in the residency, we also have meditation. I was a Buddhist monk. Um, we, I do several months of silent retreat every year. And with Bu, we've also led retreats. Um, we have some mindfulness practice. We do, we bring compassion, we bring gratitude. So there are all sorts of evidence-based practice from that world as well, which we include in the residency. And we have structured uh, day uh, times every day to do that. And then in terms of the systemic, act systemic activism and engagement, um, I've I've suffered, and I also see the suffering where we reduce our our per perception to uh, of suffering to uh, too much of an individualistic frame, and so I bring in more of a collective. That's why we do group work and community work, um, and in particular, as I'm studying now my PhD, I'm looking to see how does individual and group work help to build communities to engage at this wider community and societal level. Um, so in the residency, we'll in these meta circles, as Petra said, we'll also look a little bit at um, what are some might be some of the systemic challenges you know that we're facing, and how is that impacting us as a collective, and how as a collective might we develop agency and actually try to shift things even slightly. I mean, in the residency, it's two weeks, so it's not very long, but um, there is a sense of uh, activism that's also present underlying these contemplative and clinical practices. And it's also for me a, a big, a big point of it is to go into bringing all these methods in non-clinical settings. Like I, I think these are just general life skills that we should all have. Um. So my sense is like, how can we just in increase the, the the window of, uh, you know, people that can feel excited and interested rather than think that you know you're just going to go go there to heal trauma and you're messed up, which is how oftentimes it does tend to be presented in terms of a clinical. Uh, frame. So I'm also happy to share in the chat, if some of you are interested, there's a, quite a long page on the website, which shares a number of models um, and goes into detail in terms of how the method builds itself. So you can have a look at that. Thanks for that, Paul. excited to look at more. Yeah, gladly. Amazing. Thank you, Boaz. Thank you so much. Um, so I'm mindful we've, we've gone kind of 10 minutes over. Um, I didn't see anyone else raise a hand um, to get my attention when I asked her the questions earlier. So I'm going to take that as um, a nice place for us to close. Um, a massive thank you to Boaz and Boo for, for bringing this practice through to life itself and to Limicon. It's been a pleasure um, from my side to be a part of it. Um, and I and a pleasure to connect with everybody. So on that note, I'm going to say goodbye and uh, yeah, end the call. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Thanks, everyone. Bye. Thank you so Bye. much. Bye.